The $150 million program accelerating the reduction of maternal and child mortality in Namibia was funded by the European Union and implemented by the Minister of Health and Social Services, along with the World Health Organization in six of Namibia's regions. It was aimed at addressing challenges faced by the country in achieving its maternal and child health goals. It did this through constructing maternity homes in the regions, bringing pregnant women closer to health facilities and professionals. The fund was also used to obtain essential medical equipment for health facilities to improve quality of emergency obstetric and neonatal care services. However, while services such as antenatal care and delivery at health facilities improved, maternal mortality and child health remains a challenge, pointing to inadequate quality care. How we can improve the quality of care when bringing the woman to the facilities, making sure when they're coming to the facilities, the quality of care is it's really in hand. The Ministry of Health and Social Services applauded assistance by its development partners and assured that the government will build on and sustain the program. Despite these achievements, we do acknowledge as a ministry there is a lot that remains to be done. We are not yet there. Indeed, the assessment of emergency obstetric and neonatal care in all public hospital, health centers and some clinics drew our attention to this unfinished agenda. The European Union head of the development section assigned to Namibia, Marcus Theobald, said that Namibia has been among the countries enjoying priority from the EU and said it has committed to work with Namibia to help address the country's developmental issues.